All right, I'm at Discount Liquor and Wine in Covington, Tennessee. Uh, this was the store of my father and my youth. Uh, I'm gonna go in and if they have any Kentucky Tavern, which I am sure they will, I will pick up a bottle and we'll see what they're about. I've heard a lot about this, the founders. I may have to pick this up. You guys tell me if I need to. I've got, uh, he's got the Weller here and he's got some Bookers and got the Kentucky Owl. Oh, and they've got the Distiller series here. Right, some of these here. All right. And I did have permission to film here, so it's good. So, um, you guys see anything in here I need to, I, I need to grab or can't live without. The shelves are very close together, so I will have to fight the super zoom that tends to happen when we do that. But I will do my best to try to keep up where we can see it a little bit better. So there is an old elk. Yep. I do like that they're not blaring music and I can talk, so that's good. Anybody see anything in here that I should not pass up on? Got a full range of the high west. And let's see here. Widow Jane. Alright, let's see. They have the uh, 14 year here. Alright, you know they've got the Irish and the Scotch, so we'll come back to that because you know that's my favorite. There is lots of old farsher. No black tops. Looking for that. I'll try to. Oh, you buy a case, you save five percent. <sighs> Laura and Troy at Baker Drinks. They just featured those guys. I'll stop saying this is MGP because I got in trouble. I don't know if that's true or not. Lots of uh, old smoky around here. We know that. Poland Station. Ugly Dog. That's the peanut butter. I reached out to them. They haven't gotten back with me yet. So there's old granddad bonded. But no 114. I'll probably never get that, I guess. Ah. Easier for me to find stag. Oh, here is the cast drink. And here's this one. The other... Uh, Kentucky whiskey. So, old Dominic, lots of Woodford Reserve, old Dickle. And on these neck shells, I'm gonna have to kind of just angle it a little bit, kind of get maybe just a little bit of the of what's on the side here. I'm gonna go a little fast because they're busy and I don't want to be in their way. So. I'm making a man about to stuff. <laughs> Had to stop there for a second. Has anybody tried this? This is a very pretty heavy bottle. Oh my goodness. I'm curious about this. Anybody's tried this? Let me know. That's uh, good stuff. So I'm gonna kind of go through here a little bit, kind of quickly, just because uh, I want to be a respect for a respecter of people and their. This is, this is uh, the whiskey of my father. This was his old store. I'm gonna buy some before I go. All right, so now here what we're gonna do is look and see what they got scotch-wise. So, not too bad. So one thing of McCallan down at the bottom. We got the Belvini. Oh, here's McKenna. This is the sherry cast. Not a bad price. Sherry oak cast. That's all they had. Well, it's kind of in a funny place, but that's all right. I can see where somebody thought that might be uh, similar. And it's funny. I've, twice I've noticed this now in some place. I love that they have the famous grouse. It's ruby cast series. That's interesting. I've not seen that. Alright. Back to the Dickel. Some of the others. I think on the bottom shelf is more about overstock. So. I got a 
pretty good selection of stuff over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back over here and take a look again at the. Uh, I know some people are looking for the Weller. I know they're looking for the Weller Special Reserve. So that's a, which is kind of rare. And this Kentucky Owl. I'm gonna try this someday. Find, find me a handsome stranger that'll uh, send me some. <laughs> and so these two here as well. I'm not. I'm, Got the six, the ten, single, the rare breed, rye. I'm going to do just a quick, I have a lot of stuff kind of spread out that it's kind of over in an overstock area. So, let's see if I can see anything that I might have missed. bit of benchmark here. It's the only benchmark we have. I've seen everywhere else a lot of people have a lot of the benchmark stuff and we don't necessarily get that. So All right, early times. Oh here we go. More Jack Daniels. I guess there's a Jack Daniels section here. Oh I saw that this is somebody tell me I, I need somebody to tell me if this is any good or not. I, I, I think this would be a good winner. You got Buffalo Trace. Oh look at him hiding it over here. You got Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, well, good old Jack up there. So, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, bacon bourbon, bacon flavored bourbon. I have not seen that. That is pretty funny. Bacon flavored bourbon. That's what it says. That sounds pretty good. It's bacon flavored bourbon. I know. May have to. We got a lot of bourbons in here. You do. You got you got a ton here. Got the Sazerac. Don't even go into the covens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Of course, we know this is by the. What'd you say? The same. Uh, same like uh, Jack Daniel. Uh, Jack Daniel, original founder Jack Daniel. Same, same as that. And by law, he can't. The, the, they can't put this next to Jack Daniels. But that that box sure does look very similar to Jack Daniels, doesn't it? So uh, <laughs> I see what they did there. So, yeah. all right.